Good morning everybody, what's happening? What's going on? Today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and clean out some of the secondary air valves located in the front of this X5. Now located right here we have the secondary mass airflow sensor. There's a filter right here that goes down to this emissions vacuum pump here. And then we have a, another valve located right here, which we're going to remove and clean out all of the soot and stuff that's inside of that valve. Now the reason we're doing this today is because I have a P1419 code, which is a malfunction on the secondary mass airflow sensor. A lot of the time people will confuse that code, they hear mass airflow sensor, and instead of thinking of this tiny, tiny one here, it's is like an inch in diameter, they're thinking about just the main mass airflow sensor located here. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is remove this entire thing from the bracket here, just slide it off. We'll remove this filter, and then we can spray this with mass airflow sensor cleaner to try to clean this up. And there's a plug we need to disconnect on the bottom. Be careful when you're handling this hose. It can be brittle, it's a hard plastic. You don't want to crack it and cause another source of an air leak. Now to remove this filter from this little sensor here, there's another Torx bolt right here that we need to remove. And that bolt is going to require a T20. Now we can carefully slide this filter off. You can see the sensor located down in here and the filament can get dirty so we're going to need a special cleaner that's specifically designed for mass airflow sensors and we're just going to spray it a couple times and then hopefully that resolves our problem. If not, we'll have to go ahead and replace this all together. Once again, it's very important to note, you do not want to use something like Brake Clean or WD-40 or really anything else on this delicate sensor. Here's the mass airflow sensor cleaner that you want to buy, and as always, I'll put a link in the description below. Now if you're lucky, you'll be able to remove this hose clamp and disconnect this tube from the sensor. However, when I tried to do it, I knew for sure that the force required to disconnect these two pieces was going to crack and snap this tube. So I'm just going to clean it and leave the sensor connected to the hose for now. Anything that I spray in here will evaporate just in time before we start the car again, so I'm not going to have any problems with that vacuum pump. And here's what the filter looks like. Pretty much your standard filter, and this one's nice and clean. Doesn't look like there's any problem. Now we can slide our filter back into place. We'll put our torque screw back into place. Let's plug it back in and slide it back onto the rubber mounting bracket. And that's how you clean the secondary mass airflow sensor. Click here to watch part two of this video where I'll show you how to clean out the valve attached to the cylinder head of the car. That's this valve right here. So go ahead and click that link.